Good morning, my friends. Today is Thursday of the third week of Advent, December 16th. Again, uh, season four of Beformed. Registration is, is extended until January 4th, so hope you can join us. In the Gospel today, Luke chapter 7, Jesus asked, asked the crowds, What did you go out to the desert to see? A reed swayed by the wind? Then what did you go out to see? So they were complaining that, you know, they probably thought this John the Baptist guy was crazy. He was eating locusts and, and wearing, you know, hair shirts. And it wasn't what they expected. And uh, many times in our lives, we, we don't always get what we want. We might have somebody speaking the truth to us, but it's not what we want to hear. And St. Paul predicts that, that there's going to come a time when we just seek to hear what we want to hear. You know, we want to, um, we tend to believe what we want to believe. And, uh, and so John the Baptist is out there preaching the truth. And what is he saying? Repent and believe in the gospel. Turn your lives around. And it wasn't what many of them wanted to hear. But some, the tax collectors, the prostitutes, the humble, they, they repented from their sins and were baptized by John. They turned their lives around. But the more uh, arrogant didn't think they needed a change at all, and they were not baptized. And, uh, you know, Jesus went on to say, um, all the people who listened, including the tax collectors who were baptized with the baptism of John, acknowledged the righteousness of God. But the Pharisees and scholars of the law who were not baptized by him rejected the plan of God for themselves. Maybe these aren't the direct words of Jesus, but it's in this, this gospel story. And so I think about it in my own life. Sometimes when I hear the truth, it, it hurts. It's not what I want to hear. But I have to stay humble and say, okay, where is the truth in this? When somebody corrects me, my natural response interiorly is to, is to prove that I'm right. Uh, but I've got to stop and say, Lord, what are you trying to teach me here? What's the truth in what's being said here? Where do I need to repent? Where do I need to change my life? And God is always there waiting for us to change, right? In the prophet Isaiah, you know, the story of Israel is up and down and, and all around. You know, and many times, so many times, they turned their backs on God. They killed some of the prophets. And yet, what does God say through the prophet Isaiah? But with great tenderness, I will take you back. With enduring love, I take pity on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. And at the very end of this, it says, My love shall never leave you, nor my covenant of peace be shaken, says the Lord, who has mercy on you. God never tires of taking us back. God never tires of, of reaching out to us in love and mercy. And in 11 days, no, in nine days, <laughs> I was a math major, um, in nine days, we're going to celebrate Christmas morning, which is a revelation of God's love story for us. He was willing to take on human flesh. He lived our life, talked our talk, walked our walk, did everything like us but sin, died on the cross, rose to new life to save us. This is the great love story between God and us. We don't like to hear the truth. Sometimes it, it hits too close to home. But in humility, where is God calling me to repent? Where is God calling me to turn my life around? Know that he's waiting there with his arms open wide for you and for me. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your mercy. We thank you for your faithfulness. We're sorry for turning our backs on you. We're sorry for thinking we know better than you. We're sorry for relying on ourselves more than on you. Have mercy on us, Lord. Receive us back. Prepare our hearts to receive you anew this Christmas. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, and we'll see you tomorrow.